The Geminid meteor shower is at its peak this week, and NASA says meteors could fall at a rate of one per minute or more. This is really, really neat. Joining us live now to talk about the meteor shower is the one and only chief astronomer, Derek Pitts from the Franklin Institute. Mr. Pitts, always great to see you. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me this morning. Well, thank you so much for joining us because this is one of the bigger meteor showers that we see each year. This is fantastic if you're able to view it. Talk to us about how this happens. The Geminid meteor shower is the result of the Earth passing through a stream of dust and dirt left over from an asteroid called Phaeton. It happens at the same time every year, and we have these very small pieces of dust and dirt. I mean about the size of sand grains and slightly larger falling into the Earth's atmosphere. And as they come through the atmosphere, they heat up the air ahead of them. They cause that air to compress, warm up, glow. We see the meteor streak. Well, where are some of the good locations in our area to see the shower? Oh, any place where the sky is very dark. So if you can find a location near the French Creek State Park, or if you can go out into the Wharton State Forest in New Jersey, uh, places like that where the sky is dark. You know, the, uh, the back route down to Cape May, if you will, it gets dark down in that portion of New Jersey. And when the sky is dark like that, it makes it possible for us to see meteors in the evening sky. This particular shower is really good for viewing early in the evening, unlike other showers, because the point that they seem to emanate from uh, is very low on the horizon early in the evening, and its position gets better through the night. So if you start early, you'll be able to see meteors and on into the night as well. And that would be tonight into tomorrow morning will be the best time to view. That's really, really cool. And the fact that NASA, and you were saying that there could be uh, one per minute. That is remarkable. So plenty to see. And, and this is really unique, too, because it's not often that in this region we get to see um, meteors of, of this scale, so many, in such a short period. Yeah, that's true. This is one of the best showers of the year for us to view. As you said, up to one per minute, even more than that can be possible. But it's a very sharp peak. That means it's not going to last a number of days where we have this very high number of meteors. And what really helps your viewing is if you go out and view with a number of people so that you can be looking around the sky. So you sort of make it like a sky observing party out, outdoors. And while you're out there with some music and maybe some hot cider, you can enjoy looking at the evening evening skies and hopefully a number of you would be able to see meteors as you're observing. See Derek, if you had been my professor in astronomy class, I would have done better than a D. Because if you're <laughs> going to bring cider and have music out there at the you know, planetariums and things like that, I would have done really well. Oh, wait till we get to the wine and cheese part. <laughs> then we'll really be having a good time. You're speaking his language, Derek. <laughs> Derek Pitts, Chief Astronomer of the Franklin Institute. Always appreciate your insight. Thanks so much for joining us and happy holidays.